Yo guys, what's up? Kale here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team, and today we're going to be doing an 86 rated Team of the Week Crepin Diata review. So, heading into the player bio on the card, he is 5 foot 9 tall with high medium work rate, flat footer primarily, with 4 star skills and a 4 star weight foot coming in at around 14 000 to 15,000 coins, so he is very, very cheap. Now, he can start at right wing right mid and left mid unfortunately not left wing but regardless that left mid role on the other side is pretty useful now heading into the player bio i've given him the finisher camp style the pace is more than good enough attack positioning at 86 is solid finishing goes up to 97 shot power up to 92 and volleys up to 90 along with 75 penalties Passing on the card is more than good enough in my opinion, 83 short pass with 81 crossing and 85 vision is like I said more than good enough. Dribbling on the card looks sensational, 99 agility with 92 balance and 99 dribbling along with 85 ball control, he should feel very very fast on the ball. Defending is also pretty solid, I guess you can play him at centre mid if you really have to and physical again pretty good surprisingly he's got 80 physical with 97 jumping and 94 stamina so I'm expecting him to last the full 90 he does have 74 strength and 71 aggression which like I said isn't too bad so if you guys want you can try out the hawk camp style on this card as well just to boost the strength and aggression and make him even stronger but I think the finisher camp style is the way to go so without further ado I'm gonna play this card at Cam and right forward in a 4 1 2 1 to narrow and 4 3 2 1. And let's get straight into the gameplay highlights with 86 rated team of the week, Clip Indiata. So, heading into the first clip, just showcasing the speed on the card. Brilliant running from him, and unfortunately, we get taken out just outside the box. So, I'm gonna take the free kick with him. He doesn't have terrible free kicks, has 71 free kick accuracy, is kind of decent. I'm gonna go for the outside foot color. Diata, oh, what a finish that is from the free kick. Bends it around the wall and scores. Keeper stands absolutely no chance. Brilliant free kick from Diata, and we do end up scoring. Heading on to the next clip in this match, Mascherano has it. Vieira makes a good interception. I get that pass off into Diata. Can he use the speed? Get past Van Dijk. His one on one. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Great finish from Diata. Great speed from him once more. Just takes a touch past his man, and we are able to score a pretty good goal. Good finish and a Cool celebration to go with it. Heading on to the next match here, Ferdinand comes in with a crunching tackle. Diata has it, a little bit of skill. I see David making the run. Can I make the pass? Yes, I can. Can David get past his man? Yes, he can. And he converts to give Diata the first assist of this video. Great finish, but good skill and a great pass from Diata from that camp position to get him in behind in the first place. On to the next clip, still in that camp position here. Excellent dribbling from him, great feet moves so quickly and he keeps it going here can he use his strength to make the pass yes he can we get fouled but david i gotta finish this to get the other the assist and we do brilliant dribbling from david but even better from Diata, that quick feet in that centre mid position while well, centre of the park basically was enough to get away from his man and we do get an assist at the end of it and here again quick feet this time results in him scoring a pretty good goal great finish from him and like i said we have yet another goal with Diata. on to the next match Diata has a shirt gets a pass into david it's a perfectly weighted pass can he use a speed and get past maldini he can't but this guy loses possession mane that shot is saved and the rebound is gonna roll in it's going to roll in this guy must probably be screaming but Diata with a pretty weak volley but I mean it was on target I guess so it was enough to roll into the back of the net here Diata 1-2 with Mane and look at the speed on this card gets him behind and rolls it into the back of the net brilliant finish once more but yet again the main point of the card is the pace and this guy is ridiculous when it comes down to the pace. So here, just drops deep from the camp position, gets the pass into Gerard who runs through and tucks it away. Good dribbling from him, surprisingly. I didn't know Gerard could dribble, but apparently he can, and he gets Diata another assist because of it. But straight off the bat here, Ferdinand straight from kickoff wins it back. Diata, brilliant dribbling once more, gets the pass into David who loses it. Again, great dribbling from Diata. Can we go all the way? A bit of lag, just gonna keep it going, and I'm not sure where this guy's goalkeeper is going. Something wrong with Sherlock and Pope, I'm convinced, but regardless, Great finish from Diata after a very, very good run and once more just showing you guys how fast he actually is. Here though just showcasing the playmaker capabilities in him. You guys have seen it pretty much throughout the video but that clip just sums it up. Brilliant dink pass over the top of the defence and David is able to go and tuck it away. Good finish but a great pass from Diata and here the final 
clip of this video. Again, a pretty simple pass, but a good pass, firm and solid into David, who's able to score once more to get Diata the final assist of this video. So with that being said, it is time to review the card. And as you guys will see in just a second, the stats on this card in terms of the goal contributions aren't too bad at all. So in seven games, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, seven games, he managed five goals and three assists from the cam and right forward position is genuinely pretty decent. And I did disconnect from one of the games, the second game of this video, where he did also get a few goal contributions as well. So about 10 goal contributions in seven games is genuinely pretty good. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, look, this card is basically discard price for a team of the week or almost discard price around 15, 13, 14K. So genuinely this guy for the price, is he worth it? Well, I will tell you just now. So heading into the pace, electric this guy is ridiculously fast he's able to run away from absolutely anybody van dyke included which i know is very difficult i used team of the year messi and i couldn't run away from van dyke but this diata card can very easily do that so pace fantastic but do i think he deserves a 10 out of 10 yeah i do why not with the finisher chem style boosting agility and the balance he does feel a lot quicker than he would as just without the finisher chem style boost so pace on the card I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. Shooting, you know, it's pretty solid. I was kind of surprised. The long shots on this card are pretty good as well. Didn't really get a chance to test it. But if his finishing is as good as it is, being 82, of course, he does get the pace. I mean, sorry, he does get the finishing boost with the finisher chem style. But regardless, the finishing on the card is fantastic. So for shooting, I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.6 out of 10. When it comes down to the passing on the card, surprisingly pretty solid. The short passing, at 83 is more than good enough the long passing at 79 is also pretty solid enough for him to make those long passes whenever he wants to so passing on the card i'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.5 out of 10 as well dribbling very good absolutely ridiculous he moves very very quickly and because he's got that small bold in game he's pretty tall but he looks very agile and evasive and he is despite having some pretty good physical stats so dribbling on the card sensational 9 out of 10 because he does dribble very very quickly defending well i'm not really going to be defending with this guy so that doesn't really matter and physical on the card is again pretty solid it's able to hold off players as you guys saw i was able to hold off the one guy and make a pretty good pass off to david to get the assist and he does last full 90 without a doubt in whatever position you play so genuinely is this card worth the coins 100 percent this guy is one of the best wingers in league Un, and him being senegalese does also get that link to Mane, so if some of you do rock a rare Bundesliga and Serie A team, well, you can get Mane and you can get Diata and they will give each other chemistry. So with that being said, best chem style I would say is definitely the finisher chem style and best position is definitely the camp position where you can create chances and dictate the play. And with that being said, I do bring it into the video, so if you liked it, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.